What up, worship boy, sport of black, checking in again, man. Um, shout out to everybody out there rocking with me. So this video here, I was just going back. I was on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I just be checking out the algorithms, some of the comments on some of the, you know, trending videos and trending topics and such. And I'll come to the conclusion, which I kind of realized, like, since and during this um, Kendrick and Drake beef, that back and forth and whatnot, it's like a lot of fans. I didn't know it was so many fans that was, you know, sleeping on Kendrick like that. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I feel like he he came out the big winner out of this whole situation because you got to look at it. It was like during the, 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 the height of the whole beef, you had all Kendrick fans tuned in. You had all Drake fans tuned in. Then you had a whole big, large consensus of casual fans and people that really wasn't even fans at all. They would just know and want to know what was going on. And they was, you know, paying attention to the dialogue and the back to back, back and forth on um, diss tracks and such. And then people, you know, was finding out more and more about Kendrick Lamar. You know what I'm saying? I felt like most of everybody already heard of Drake. I heard a lot of his music. And a lot of people maybe heard of Kendrick Lamar, maybe heard a couple of his songs, but never really got into his discography. You know what I'm saying? So it's like now, since the, you know, the beef or whatever, and the aftermath of the beef, a lot of people are going, you know, digging into his discography and really finding out, like, you know, why this dude is so dope and, you know, is uh, labeled as one of the top MCs in the game. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that's a blessing for Kendrick Lamar, you know what I'm saying? Is that he just his fan base done done gain, you know, a lot of new followers, a lot of new people, you know what I'm saying, they're subscribing to his music, they're checking him out. You know, even myself, you know what I'm saying? I I've been up on Kendrick Lamar, you know, since I think the first Kendrick Lamar song I heard was probably uh, Swimming Pool, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, off that that you know that good kid, man. See that album, like I I was rocking with you know a lot of those singles or whatnot. But it was still a lot of stuff in this discography that I went all the way up on, and it was partially because Kendrick, he the type of artist he don't really drop a lot of music. You know what I'm saying? He the type might drop an album every two three years, jump on a verse every. You know, year and a half, every two years, but it's like most of the time when he when he pop out and he drops some shit, he he's always had that ability to kind of shake the rap game up. So I knew just off of that, um, what his level was in the game. You know, kind of when you think back to the control verse when he dropped that verse right there, you know, over a decade ago, you know, it shook the rap game up. People were just kept talking, talking, talking all about this verse. They weren't even talking about the song. They were just talking about this verse. So you had to go listen to the verse and see what the hell all to talk about. And it's, it was similar, you know, 2024 this year when he jumped on there and put that, that verse on like that. Well, Future Metro Boomin, they like that verse. You know what I'm saying? The song was hard because, you know, the beat was hard. The song was hard. But his verse, it just took it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just something about the impact of, you know, every time he come out, you know what I'm saying? He he shakes some shit up. You know what I'm saying? So that in itself lets you know what kind of influence Kendrick Lamar has as an MC. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's a million rappers out there. And it's a and it's a, you know, quite a few of, of, of elite rappers, or rappers that are supposed to be up here, but when they come out or they pop out. It don't have the same effect. It don't resonate the same. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so shout out to K Dot, man, and shout out to all the new people, you know, tuning in and getting up on his discography. You know what I'm saying? And checking out a lot of the uh, the older music that he, he he put out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the classical shit, like like my homeboy told me he just now hearing that song with Kendrick and uh, Baby King, his cousin, that on uh, that family tie. When he's up smoking on your top five, you know what I'm saying? Even in that song right there, I mean, it's clearly he was talking about Drake and Kanye and whoever else at the time that supposed to have been the top five rappers. He let them know he's smoking on them. And here he comes now, 2024, 
that whole verse, bar, hook, all that, that just the phrase of smoking on top five, it hit different now. So I, you know, I advise all y'all out there, man, go check out that uh, that Family Ties song, Baby Kid and Kendra Lamar, man. But uh, with no further ado, that's all I got to say about this, man. I'm Sporty Black. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, like and share the video, man. Jump in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. If you've been down with K-Dot since uh, day one, or are you a new fan, or are you just a casual fan, just done gained a, a lot more respect for the man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man.